Hello, Christoph here from Meeple's Corner for our first ever episode of the Meeple's Corner news. I just want to give you a quick summary of what is happening at the shop this week and maybe also what we can look forward for to next week. Um, the first thing I want to show you are the new releases we have in this week and it's five of them. We start with the newest um, expansion for Seven Wonders, the new edition, it's the Armada expansion that came in this week. So at the moment the only one that's still missing is the Leaders expansion. Unfortunately we don't have a date for the Leaders expansion yet. Um, the Armada expansion is a fairly big box compared to last week's City expansion which is roughly half the size but that's also in. So we have two expansions at the moment. And I also wanted to remind you that we have some promo items left from the Seven Wonders Second Edition launch and every order including one of the expansions or the base game will come with one of these promo cards. So that's the Seven Wonders release for this week. And we have the second new game for this week is Pandoria Merchants. This is not an expansion for Pandoria, which I thought at first when I saw it in one of my price lists. This is the roll and dice game, uh, roll and write game they, uh, Jeffrey Ellis and Bern, uh, Bernd Eisenstein developed and designed during the lockdown. And because it was quite successful and uh, there were a lot of people asking about buying it, they um, have now published it and it's available. It's apparently um, a nice way to get into Pandoria and it also includes a family version um, which makes it a lot more accessible so you can play it with your family and there's solar rules included. So this one looks quite interesting. Then we have Pendulum. That's the real-time strategy game from Stonemaier. That's uh, released last Friday. Um, it looks quite interesting. It's a bit a hit and miss for some people because of the real-time um, element. But I remember back in the days when uh, Eggert Spiele released a game called Space Dealer. And I really like it. So um, I'm looking forward to give this a go because one of the positive effects of the real-time element is it keeps the game time down and it's roughly 60 to 90 minutes with a full four player count and with two players you can easily play it under two hours and the components in my opinion look quite nice so that's something I'm going to try out soon hopefully and then maybe I can let you know about it so Pendulum Stonemaier games and then we have a small game Village Green it's a small card game uh, published by Osprey Games and designed by uh, Per Sylvester. I watched a few reviews yesterday and it um, gets really good reviews and first impressions. And um, again, it's one of the games at the moment which comes with solo rules so you can play it on by yourself, learn the rules, give it a go and then you can play with up to five people. Yeah, nice little game. Um, since the YouTube videos popped up, there's a lot of interest in the games and we, we only have a few copies left, but hopefully I can get a restock in soon, even if the copies are selling out soon. So, and then uh, one new release that's not available uh, yet, because the official street date is on Friday, but we already have the stock in, so if you place a pre-order now, we can ship it so you will have the expansion on Friday morning. It's the Terra Incognita expansion for Civilization and New Dawn and um, it integrates options for a fifth player and ten new civilizations including England, China, Indonesia, Ottomans and the Inca. And uh, have a look at the back of the box. So this one is in stock and can get shipped from Thursday, so it um, will be with you on the release day on Friday. Good. So these are the new releases for this week. Then we also had um, 
a few restocks. And the first one is Bonfire, one of the two new Stefan Feld games. It's um, published by Pegasus. It came early last week, sold out within a couple of hours and um, we managed to get more stock in. So that's available again. And then we have another Stefan Feld game. It's the castles of Tuscany, the more beginner-friendly versions of his um, famous castles of Burgundy. Again, the first delivery sold out fairly quickly, but uh, we have new stock from this morning, so again, available to order now. So these are the two most interesting restocks we have this week. Then um, what else is happening at the shop or on the website at the moment? We have started a role playing game session or not session category on the website and this one is um, slowly starting to grow. I've added two new games to the role playing category and it's both are from Evil Head Productions. They are standalone games. We have Band of Blades and we have plates in the dark they're both based on the same rule system have different different ideas for one is you um, you're running a, um, a band of daring scoundrels seeking their fortunes on the haunted streets of an industrial fantasy city and then in this one you are part of the command structure of a legion in retreat following a battle they've lost and now you need to manage the the armies to get them back to your home base and while you're doing this you get attacked by an army of undead so uh, the interesting bit with this one is that you're not just managing or playing your characters you have um, on top of your own characters you have roles you fulfill in the army so you have a the strategic element where you manage your army and then you have the role-playing element where you play your character during the retreat of the army. So both look fairly interesting. They are hard covers and also interesting with the role-playing session is we joined the free RPG day this year but because of all the social distancing restrictions we couldn't do any events in the shop so the free RPG Day organizers allowed for this year for the first time that you could hand out these uh, free items you get with the kits with a sale or with other um, things you're doing on, on, on your website or in your shop. So we still have lots of these free RPG freebies left and they will come included in any order that includes a role-playing game. So one of the freebies is the starter kit for the route role-playing game and then we have also have a starter kit of the Kids on Brooms role-playing game which is the basically a Harry Potter role-playing game based on the Kids on Bikes rule system. Both very interesting and a fairly good value for, for a free item. So these are the new elements on the, the website Then quickly let me have a look at my list. The next thing I would like to talk about are new pre-orders I've added to the website and um, one interesting new pre-order is Super Skill um, Pinball from Jeff Engelstein. I think it's published by WizKids. That's a roll and write pinball game and that's coming out hopefully in October. I have no confirmed date yet but it should be with us before the end of the month. I think it was released in the US last week so hopefully it will make its way over to the UK soon. Then the second interesting pre-order is a game called Praga Kabut Regni. I hope I pronounced it correctly. It's the new game from the Underwater Cities designer. It was originally planned as an SM release so hopefully it will be available at the end of October or early November. Pre-orders are 
up on the website now and the third pre-order game I would like to point out is Fayum. It's a new Freedom and Freeze game that's already generating a lot of interest on Board Game Geek and again it's planned as an ASM release or digital ASM release so hopefully um, end of October, early November again as a release date and then um, yeah these are the pre-orders and then what's going to happen next week is that we already have three confirmed new releases for next week I think hopefully by Friday I will have more new releases um, the first one is Warp's Edge that's the second game in the Solo Hero series from Renegade and it's a solo back building space combat game and it comes like the first game in the Solo Hero series it comes with a chose your own path storybook so it's not just um, a normal solo game it also comes with a role playing element in form of a storybook where you can choose your own path through the storyline and that's um, designed by Scott Alms who is the, um, behind all the tiny epic games and then the uh, second new game I should have here by Wednesday, Thursday next week is the new Disney Hocus Pocus game from Ravensburger um, and then the other release also from Ravensburger that should come with the same delivery is the new Disney Villainous expansion Perfectly Wretched um, both of them should be here hopefully by Wednesday, Thursday deliveries from Ravensburg will take a bit longer because they have uh, a limited number of staff in their warehouse. So yeah, um, this is everything I have to talk about for this week. If you have any suggestions what I can put into these new news shows then please leave a comment or send me a message and I will put links to all the games I've talked about in below the video in the description so yeah hopefully you liked it and see you next week